2023 Hodonice and the extraordinary Extreme Euro Open Practical Shooting Competition. The 14th edition once again became a unique event in the world of sports shooting. The leaderboard was enriched with famous names of shooters who showcased performances worthy of champions. Organizers invited shooting elites from 56 countries to Horonitsa near Znoimo, including the most famous world-class shooters. As usual, Lubor Novak, the main organizer, stood at the helm of this event. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on the 14 Extreme Euro Open 2023. Enjoy it. It is important to mention the competition's partners. Arma Zeka specializes in developing and manufacturing programs for lightweight handguns in the sector of sports and personal defense pistols and has been a significant partner in the Extreme Euro Open for a long time. Da Vinci Manufacturing, an engineering company based in Pinellas Park, Florida, became another prestigious partner of these competitions. Da Vinci Machining operates in various industrial sectors, including firearms manufacturing. Beretta, one of the oldest firearm manufacturers in the world, with almost 500 years of experience in the field, was also part of the Extreme Euro Open. If you want to shoot with ease and precision, there's no other way to do it than in the stylish Extreme Euro Open t-shirt, which is sold as part of this event every year. The event's program is similar every year. During the registration process, perfect administrative work is paramount. Registering 1,000 competitors, which must be done on Wednesday, puts great demands on the organization. Safety is the most important aspect for the entire Extreme Euro Open team. Emphasis is placed on safety not only during registration, but throughout the competition in all shooting positions. One of the main organizers is Denyek Henesh, who willingly took on the role of guide for the 2023 competition. Do letošního ročníku Extreme Euro Open se přihlásilo více než 1080 lidí, přičemž do samotného závodu bylo připuštěno cirka 800 závodníků, přibližně 750 jich předpokládáme, že dokončí. The competition consists of 30 relatively challenging shooting situations. Each of them includes at least 12 rounds. These are the short situations. The medium ones consist of around 20 to 24 rounds. The long situations have 32 rounds where practically almost all competitors need to reload. Personal se skládá z více než 80 rozhodčích plus organizační tým, ten je cirka taky 20, 25 účastníků. Servis 5-6 lidí, protože ten je stabilní, vlastně 24 hodin je tady na střelnici, takže je to náročný. The competition spans seven days, with the first three days being a pre-match involving about 200 competitors. After a one-day break, the main three-day competition takes place. Approximately 600 participants compete, rotating on the shooting range each day. We caught up with Pavel Zhenchar backstage, who made significant changes to the participation in this year's competition. I see that he changed the division of the shooting range. He won the division of the PCC, but si přešel do divize Production Optik. Co tě k tomu přimělo? Tak jak se posunul zase tě, majstrosa světa PCC, tak tento rok mám slot na majstrosa Evropy v Grécku. A pravdu povedějac, aj trocha tej zmeny mi prospěje. To PCC už 
nič iné som nestrelal posledné 3 roky ako PCC a trochu ma to prestalo baviť, <laughs> alebo jak to mám povedať. A nejaký ten challenge je asi, je to zábavné, tá pištola. June weather provided very hot and sunny days. The Hodonice shooting range, due to these challenging conditions, tested the resolve and fitness of all of the shooters. How did you like this match, Extreme Euro? Yeah, it, that's why it's called Extreme Euro. The weather is extreme and the, the, the stages are good. Very nice. So short, not that uh, really problematic and it's cool. And how did you shoot? Ah, uh, so-so. Okay. Yeah, still fighting. I still have 10 stages more. The extremely hot weather was demanding not only for the shooters, but also for the organizers and the referees. Are you ready? Yeah. They had to handle their officiating duties under the sun in over 30 degrees Celsius. It's like a lot of hot every possible time when you can, even if you're a judge, you're probably more or less non-stop on the sun. So... Je to náročné, ale hovorím, no, zvládnuť sa to dá. Tak človek s tým počíta dopredu, takže sa na to pripraví, no, môžem sa hlavne vyspať potom. Osprchovať, vyspať a pripraviť sa na ďalší deň. The Extreme Euro Open's global reputation is confirmed by the wide participation of shooters from all over the world. One of them is the American shooter Money Thrag, for example. Uh, Money is one from the best American shooters, yes? Used to be. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, many. Uh, how did you like this match? Oh, so far it's been amazing. I mean, we've shot two out of three days, and uh, you know all the movers, all the the movement. It's a great mix of speed, accuracy, agility, um, all of those. In the production division, there was an interesting competition among the top favorites. Before announcing the results, we asked one of them, Michal Stepanek, about his expectations. Michale, já odhaduji, že letošní tvůj výkon byl velice dobrý a že budeš bojovat do první místo. Jak si myslíš, že to dopadne? Uh, to je sice strašně hezký, ale myslím si, že první místo má Erik tento rok, jelikož měl velký náskok z prvních dvou dnů. A pak dál už to bude velmi těsné boj od druhé třetí místo. So the third place was secured by Lubisa Mamcilovic and Mika Stepanek indeed took the silver medal. As expected, the gold medal went to the Frenchman Eric Raffel, who is a well-deserved favorite in the Extreme Euro Open competition every year. Tell me something uh, about this match, Extreme Euro Open. How did you like this match? Uh, you know, it, it, it is a special year this year. We have the European Championship in, in Greece. And um, clearly the design of the stages were uh, way more interesting than in the past. We had a lot more options on the stages. Uh, stage were not too hard. They were a little bit difficult, of course, but not too hard, but enough to push a little bit yourself to, to the line where you start to make mistakes. And that was very, very good. So the, the team here made a good job preparing the uh, Euro Extreme this year. The rising star of last year's competition was Khalil Adrian Vire, who dominated the standard division. Therefore, we asked him about his experience in this year's competition. I like it very much. It's actually one of my favorite matches. It's, it's already my second time here. Perfect. Uh, probably will be winner, yes? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Podařilo se nám úspěšně dokončit další ročník závodu Extreme Euro Open. Dokončilo nám více než 700 závodníků, což je vysoký počet oproti loňskému roku. Známe už vítěze hlavních divizí. V divizi Standard vyhrál Adrian Khalil Viraj z Filipín. 
divizi Open vyhrál Robin Šebo z České republiky a v divizi Production vyhrál více násobný mistr světa Elie Graufer z Francie. Competitors from all over the world praised the experience, progress and organization of this year's competition. What country you are from? I am from uh, United Arab Emirates, Dubai. And uh, how did you like this match? Uh, it's really a very good match, uh, well organized and uh, we enjoyed three days of shooting. It was really nice. And how did you shoot? Uh, good, not so bad. <laughs> yeah. Co nám řekneš, líbilo se ti tady letos? Co ti povím, závod je super. Vyšlo nám vynikajúce počasie, to je prvá vec. Druhá vec, parkoury sú úžasné, klobúk dole veľmi dobre postavené. Není čo k tomu zle povedať. Buchačka fungovala excelentne, strlivo bolo super a všetky ostatné chyby, ktoré som robil, boli len a len moje. Takže, závod super, užil som si to, normálna zábava. Tento závod byl perfektní, jeden z najlepších závodů určite tento rok a střílil sa mne dobře. The event organizers created excellent conditions for focused performance for all shooters. The Extreme Euro Open is among the most respected competitions in the world. As always, the whole team under Lubor's leadership did an outstanding professional job. Ten závod probíhal za velice náročných podmínek. Bylo zde až 30 až 34 stupňů Celsia což je i pro ty rozhodčí střelce opravdu náročný. Je to závod, který začíná v 7 hodin ráno, končí někdy i po 7 hodině večer. Ta obtížnost opravdu byla vysoká, co jsme se dozvídali od střelců. Vysoká úroveň tu potvrdili střelci ze Spojených států, kteří v podstatě to hodní, hodnotili až nad rámec, nad, nad úroveň mistrovství světa v obtížnost těch situací, takže my jsme nadmíru spokojení a příští ročník určitě bude navazovat tady na tento závod. In the Sunday morning finale, the traditional Final Four Super Finale exhibition took place, with top shooters competing. Khalil Adrian Vire measured his skill against Denyek Lina. In the Ladies Open category, Samantha Wendell defeated Sarah Temelu. World-class shooters like Miroslav Havlicek competed, with Robin Shebo emerging victorious. In the ladies' PCE category, Teresa Spanihelova and Carolina Varese made their presence known. Teresa Spanihelova! Speed and precision were demonstrated by Daniel Slavik and Lukas Sudek. The exhibition concluded with Micha Stepanek and the victorious Nikita Kriuchin. The winner is Nikita This exhibition and the award ceremony for the winners were a dignified conclusion to the Extreme Euro Open 2023 competition. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Lubor Novak and I am match director Xtreme Euro Open. I want to personally uh, invite uh, for 15 Jubileum Xtreme Euro Open 2024. Thank you very much and see you soon.